Um, I don't know why people do these kind of videos, but I had the idea. I figured I would try it and see what happens. Uh, this is going to be the unboxing of my camshaft. Came with these lifters, all from Lunati. And I went ahead and bought this Lunati engine brake-in additive. Basically, you just pour it in with your oil first startup. But I'll get this set up. Uh, show you the cam car. We kind of look at the cam. Not a big deal. Shouldn't take but just a second. I know it's gonna. It's going in a small block Mopar. I'm not totally sure which one yet. Um, I've been dreaming at night, so I'm about switching from the old 318 over there. That's a 68 model 318, which I was going to do a different video about that. It probably doesn't really matter. Uh, or y'all don't care. It matters to me. Um, it doesn't have the hardened exhaust valve seats, so I'd have to get those replaced. Here we go. Um, we'll talk more about it later. But here's our lunatic camshaft. There's a the part number. Try to get in closer. V. 279H10. Let's take a look at it. Kind of destroy the box. Give you a little bit of driven racing oil assembly grease. Usually give you some kind. I don't, I've never seen this kind before. But it's been a while since I bought one from them. If you put this sticker on your car, it'll give you at least 25 more horsepower. So be sure and keep up with that. Tells you the break-in procedure. You can get it online if you want to. Blah, blah, blah. Don't damage your lifters. They won't be damaged if you break it in right and they're not made in China. So here's that cam card I wanted to show you. So valve lift 533, five, or 513, 533. Uh, 1.5 rocker ratio. Uh, lift. Let's see. I'm sorry, duration 234, 242, 279, 287. And let's see. Lobe separation is 110. Uh, this, this is one of their Voodoo cams. So it's actually supposed to help you with if you want to keep power brakes. This is probably the biggest one, that the biggest Voodoo that they sell. That's why I picked it. Um, I'm not coming too far out of the bag with it. But usually these cams, they'll come with a coating from the factory. You can kind of see it here. You need to get that coating off really, really well uh, before breaking it in. It should cause your lifters to go flat on you. But it's pretty simple. It's a single bolt install. I can break through that side. Single, single bolt. They don't actually give you that piece there, but I can rob it out of a stock cam or whatever. The cam has been unboxed. Here's a warning. Failure to use Lenati braking oil additive, part number 301. There it is. Could result in camshaft failure. Void your warranty. Blah, blah, blah. I like the naughty stuff. I had a naughty cam in a, my black truck. Liked it for a lot of years. But uh, there it is. I'll show you. I might say on here. Operating range. I think it's 2200 to 6500. Something like that. So pretty 
little higher RPM range, 373 gears, so it'll be up some. Uh, I'm gonna put it with this old Torker 340 intake. I got it on eBay for a hundred bucks. I know there's a bolt broke off right there, but looks like it already has a Gila cool put in it. But this intake should be fine with it. Um, everybody's gonna say use a dual flame, uh, but I didn't want to spend $350 on a dual flame air gap. And I didn't really want to buy a Chinese intake, so had my neighbor sandblast this. What's up, Doug? Appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to clean it off, polish it up some. And I should have a pretty solid motor. Thanks for watching.